Hey Minecrafters out there, my name is Fape and welcome back to another episode of the Ironstone Mine. Yeah, as you can see, I'm still down here next to the spawners. I cleared out a little bit of the area to see how far apart they are from each other and I think they are close enough together to make a, a spawning system out of them both. But yeah, I just wanna go on right now and explore a bit more of that mine shaft. Of course, we didn't find any slime yet, any slimes yet, and I think we really need some slimes now. Cause without the slimes, we can't do any good killing mechanism, and yeah, that would be pretty sad. So let's just go on and kill the zombie. Take my sword. And here I uh, want to apologize for last episode. I talked quite a bunch uh, of things that I wasn't supposed to talk about concerning the big uh, the built ink server. So um, lots of things are still kind of secret and we and I didn't want to destroy your surprise but it's gonna be awesome that's what I can say right now come on zombie and rest in peace but I forgot to talk about a bunch of other things last episode especially of the Ultra Hardcore Seasons 5 and 6 cause uh, it's quite some time that uh, Ultra Hardcore my, the, the Minecraft Ultra Hardcore Season 5 is over now and I didn't talk about it yet so let's do it well I guess I'll ju just go back and to the mineshaft but yeah, Ultra Hardcore 5, what really was upsetting about that, for me at least, was the, the glitch death of Kurt. But I guess there's no one to blame for it. It was just game and server lag and you'll never... Whoa, kind of big lava lake over here. But nothing of value, no diamonds in sight. Yeah, you can never predict what the server is going to do, so... Bad luck! But after a little bit of rage, I guess Kurt was fine with that. And it was the right decision to uh, not letting him in, in again that... Yes! Oh! Nice chunk of diamonds! How lovely is that? Let's just quickly put some more torches over here. And then let's get to business and grab those diamonds. Ah, very nice. Six more diamonds. There. That should be enough. But yeah, Kurt was out and... At last it, it came up to Team Canada who was left. So, the last three, Vintage Beef, Paws on Paws, and Etho. And it was a pretty, pretty weird death to Vintage Beef, because he just came out of the nether, of his nether portal, and there Etho was almost next to him, just waiting to kill. And if you wonder why I did don't don't take any of the resources. I plan to go back here and take them um, off camera or yeah, or something like that. I just wanted to lit up this old area, and we'll see later what it will bring on resources. Yeah, vintage beef died by the hand of Etho, who managed to trap him in his little hole where he built another portal. And then it was up to the final battle between Etho and Paws. The everlasting ri rivalry. Always Etho and Paws. 
and uh, yeah, apparently Evo announced at the beginning of season six that uh, his main objection will be will be to kill pause finally. <laughs> Well, so we can be very excited what will happen with his plan. But yeah, there we are. Season 6 started already. And 13 people this time, so I guess there are two new ones. Um, Anderzel from Sweden. So another player that has to play during night, about 2 o'clock or something. And uh, MC Gamers new. So two Minecraft guys who joined Ultra Hardcore, and now there are 13, as I just said, because Doc M just skipped the season. Apparently, he uh, had to work the next day, and he didn't want to spend the whole the whole night up and awake. So Doc's again back at season seven. Yeah, he, apparently he already announced it in in his. World Tour that Season 7 is already recorded and I'm sure we'll see it soon after Season 6. Yeah, I I don't know but I think it's, it's hard to uh, keep track of it when you already played season, season 7 and then you have to cut and review Season 6 to um, think of everything you th uh, thought back then when you played season 6 so I bet it's kind of weird to, to, to see the other pers perspectives um, just then when you already played the next season but yeah that's how they're doing it if it works fine why not and I hope I can play a new ultra hardcore round as well soon perhaps next weekend or the weekend after that we'll see when we got enough people to have time but I just realized that I may be lost again in this cave <laughs> there's the gold already there's some um, lapis and more gold did I come down here or what mm. oh man I really hate it and of course I forgot to keep that uh, torch trick to place him just on the right side but I guess I went up here because I placed the torch in this direction oh yeah that's uh, that's just uh, the cave where I decided to turn around to get to the mineshaft back again and I didn't make it apparently so let's try it right now and actually I'll Try it off camera so that I can't get that embarrassed. So I hope to see you back in the mineshaft then. Well, that was uh, pretty fast, I guess. Found back. So, <laughs> you missed not much. Maybe nothing when I decide to uh, not edit it out. But we'll see about that later. But sadly, we didn't find any slime. What level are we at? 25. I guess since some random update, don't know exactly which update. Oh, there's spawn again. Nice. Um, slimes can spawn up to level 40, I think. In the, in the earlier versions, they were just able to spawn at level uh, 16 or below. So I'm at least glad they changed that. But I still have to find some. Whoa, what I see there. Some chests waiting for me. Some lapis, iron, redstone and some more melon seeds. Very nice. Or and another chest. Wow. That's awesome. Two chests just a few blocks apart from each other. And I hear some more spiders. You can see that. Just a new spider. Oh, I should probably just get a bit of distance and make some new torches. 
So we can safely approach that spawner and light it all up. 16, that's perfect for a stack of torches. And now go on and head into this adventure. Whoa, no, 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 no. That's apparently not good. Okay, I should just head. Whoa, I should actually head back a bit more. Because it's really not safe right now for me. With that half heart of life I got left. Okay, there's that bastard waiting for me. Let's quickly eat something and regenerate some health. Okay, I'll bring you guys back in when I'm close to full health again. Alright guys, we are almost full again. And now let's try to get those spiders without to get poisoned if that is doable okay <laughs> so far for our goal unreachable I guess okay then at least let's be a bit more careful oh I hate the poison next time when I will explore a mineshaft I'll bring some milk with me oh no skeleton Yeah, I just noticed that I didn't use my bow quite often in the last... Okay. Yeah, it's, I guess it's pretty good lit up already. So we should be quite safe. But I can still hear some spiders, so they may still be some of them around. Well, I guess not down here anyways. So get some light down over here. And let's try it from the back side of the spawner. Just destroy all that cobweb. Well it's it's really sad that you you can't get the cobweb as a block, not even with silk touch. They are they are quite convenient. I've uh, tried it out in, in creative mode and I saw some videos. Cobwebs are really good at least for for some fishing huts at the at the coast or when you're building a harbor city, a fishing city or you can also use it damn it, there goes my sword. I need to get more wood to get a crafting table going so then I can make a new sword. Yeah, um, the cobwebs are also all also good for smoke. Yeah, from the from chimneys and stuff, and out of wood again. How lovely! So let's grab just those two and make us some sticks. Yeah, you should probably. Planning a plan on going up to the surface again to get those those diamonds in a safe chest and to get some new supplies. Well, I guess I'll have to dig up, and I will dig up right above our spawners, so I can see where they are in relation to our little base we got. But yeah, I hope I'll find this spawner as well, but a single spawner is not that special. Let's grab the crafting table actually. It's 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 always nice to have one, two or even three spawners. Whoa no! Oh that creeper that creeper scared me. Yeah the spawners quite uh, next to each other are of far better use for XP farms and mob spawners in general. Okay, screw that area. We don't need to get there anymore. Let's put some more torches down over here so we can't get surprised by any creepers or skeletons. But I think... Ah! I hate this double torch bug. But I guess I'll have to live with it since I got 
no better PC but my laptop. Yeah, I'm actually, damn it, playing uh, on a laptop. But I think it's enough for now. Okay, just one gold. Let's grab that because I don't want to head back in this area anymore. Just want to keep lighting up the mine shaft and maybe find some. Hmm, let's actually grab that gold. Oh, maybe I didn't grab that gold behind there because my inventory was full. Let's quickly look if we got it. Where was it? Ah, back beyond the gravel, I think. Yes, sure it is. Don't want to leave you, a little guy. Gold's always nice to have. Cause every world needs a golden monument. And maybe you saw the video of my Colosseum, where I built those those cool little golden statues. Maybe I'll I'll place some of the of the those into this world. We'll see about that in far away future. And there goes my pickaxe and there's a creeper waiting for me. Hey, green fellow. Come on. You wanted to die as well, don't you? So better to die by sword than to die by explosion. You wanna come from behind? Not a very good idea. Okay, let's quickly place our crafting table once again to build a pickaxe. And I hope I won't run out of iron. Whoa! Hey! I got another pickaxe left. Forgot about that. Well, I guess it's at least two episodes ago when I when I built it. Built it. But on we go, I guess that area is fully explored. Let's get this. Okay, just another dead end. Let's uh, slowly get back to our double spawner and then clear out the area a little bit more and get the planning going. Because I, I, I don't know yet if I want to make... Whoa, another chest! Oh. I already got that one apparently. Never mind. Yeah, I, I'm not quite sure yet if I want to just build a simple mob killer or if I actually want to build a XP farm of the cave spiders, but mm, that's not really um, fitting the skeleton spawner. So I guess we'll just have to see. Did I got that chest? Yeah, sure did. Let's get to some areas we can remember. Okay, that was just a dead end. Yeah, I always get lost, especially when I'm when I'm talking. I get lost too when I when I'm not recording, but I feel when I'm recording it's it's getting worse. So let's block off that annoying water source and I can hear a spider. We'll see if it's just a normal spider or is it another case water spider. But at first we have to get rid of this green fellow. Oh, all the way down there. It goes on. Here always mine shafting. What do we got here? More mine shaft indeed. So much mine shaft. I guess when I got out of here, I'm done for quite some time with caving and mineshafting. But that was definitely a thing that was on my on my list, on my to-do list. And yeah, we reached at least a part of our goal to find a cave spider spawner. So what got we down here? Little zombert. And an oh, another spawner. Nice. But I think it's too far away from the other spawners. So... Way! But apparently... Spawners are really that... that... small. 
My memory was kind of wrong there. So nothing to wonder about. Some more lava. Let's get back here. Here. That's definitely a way I didn't go before. So let's bridge across this thing. And let's see what we got here. Oh, just a normal spider. I, I guess that's the one we heard back there. And some skeletons just waiting. Waiting on some diamond. Yeah, you three guys were protecting those diamonds for sure. But I will get them anyways. Really nice. I like the progress we are doing on diamonds. Wow. What a nice chunk. Eight diamonds. Delicious. No, no, no lava. Don't kill me with all the diamonds I got. Okay. I should be more careful with the lava down here. But I hope there's no more lava behind that one. And that one. Nice. Eight got diamonds. Seventeen diamonds. Really nice. And I, I don't want to imagine how much, how many diamonds we could have get with a fortune pickaxe on a, on us. But I guess we'll find that, I hope we'll find out that out soon. Oh, Dangerous area. I really don't want to die anyway, but especially not in a, in a lava lake with the stuff I got on me. So let's be careful and close that stuff off. Okay, let's get up there and see. I hear some more spiders. Maybe another spawner. Well, not back there, I guess. Looks just like another dead end, and indeed it is. Okay, and whoa, that's actually a really short part of a mineshaft. Hey, creeper, what's going on? You want to take... Oh! You're pathfinding me! Don't you? What a smart green fellow! But no use for you. Oh! Over there it goes on. Let's see what we'll find up there. Well... How long am I playing? Quite some time. So, I guess you'll see next episode what's up there above those planks. But apparently it's a spider and a zombie at least, from what I can hear. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching. If you liked it, leave a like and subscribe if you don't have already subscribed. And I hope next time I can bring you some more building of our little farm spawn mob far XP farm or whatever it will be I will think about it and yeah and I hope I can bring you some more building in future in future episodes but this was just a <laughs> time consuming other mineshaft exploring well hope you enjoyed it anyway and I will see you next time in the ironstone mine bye